Hello everyone, welcome back to Gaming Flu and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix Payday 3 is having crashing issue, it is not launching or won't launch, freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and even the black screen issue which is happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix this up. So let's dive into the work now. The first one is all about when you are just having this particular trouble, we need to do a simple restart on the PC or the system. So just go over here in the start, click on this particular icon, go for a simple restart. Once restart is done, try launch the game and that will be working fine. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to launch the game from the installation folder because sometimes when we are launching the game from the Steam, that is might be that might be an issue. So we need to launch the game from the installation folder. So just go over here in the right click and we have to go to the properties. We have to go to the installer file and we just need to click on the browse. Now what we happen is we just need to go over here. So if you scroll down, you can see this is the installation folder. That is this PC, new volume D, Steam library, Steam apps, common, payday 3 and here is the game. So we just need to launch the game from here and that is what we have to do. For many of these is when they launch the game from the installation folder, it did work it for them. So we can try this out as well. Next one is all about we need to run the game as an administrator. So hence within the installation folder, we can do this from here itself. Just right click, go to show more option, properties, compatibility, click on run this program as an administrator, go for apply, go for OK and try launch the game. Next one is all about even after trying with this one, if it's still it's not working, we can also try running the game in the compatibility mode. So just right click over here, go to the show more option, properties, compatibility. Now from here, go to run this program in the compatibility mode, set this to Windows 7, go for apply, go for OK, or set this to Windows 8, go for apply, go for OK and try launch the game. So even after trying with this, if the issue is still there, we can move to the next one. That is all about we have to make sure the date, time and time region should be correct. For this we just need to go over here in the search, navigate settings, go to the time and language, go to language and region, sorry first go to date and time, make sure the time and time zone should be automatically turned it on, both has to be turned it on, this is very important. After turning on this we just need to go back, go to the language and region. Now from here what we need to do is we just need to go over here, go to the country and region. So you have to select the country on which you are actually uh, staying right now. So if you're from United States, set this to United States. If you're from India, set this to United India. Sorry, I mean India. So once after this, just close this and we have to go back, try launch the game. If still it's not working, try with these steps. One among them is launch the game and we have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. This did work it. For many users, we can try this out. So just press Alt and Tab from the keyboard and try launching the game and that might be working. Still, if it's not working, we can try deleting, deleting the saved game file. So just go over here in the file explorer, go to this PC, go to the uh, documents and over here you will be able to find my games and you will be able to find the game Payday 3. When you started playing the game and saving each level of the game, will be having payday 3 over here so delete it keep in mind when you delete it you will be losing all the progressions of the game but that is fine just delete it and afterwards close this and we have to go back try launching the game next one is all about we need to allow the game to windows security for this reason we have to go over here in the search go for control panel go to system and security go for windows defender firewall go for allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall Keep scrolling down and navigate to Payday 3. So keep scrolling down and go to Payday 3 over here. And right now, as you can see, the private and public both has to be selected. This is very important. So uh, as you can see, it is already there. So imagine the game is not there and how we can do this. Just click on the change setting, go for allow another app, go for browse. Now go to this PC, go to local disk D, go to Steam library, go to Steam apps, go to common. Now go for uh, payday 3, select this one and go for open and add it. So when you do this, you'll be getting the error because uh, the game is already added. So this is how you can add it by default. And once afterwards, just close this and we have to go back, try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to 
close all the overlay application which is a very important one so when you are launching the game as you can see there will be a lot of things running in the background for this just go over here in the start right click go to the task manager right now if i expand this you can see there are 59 50 background apps is running in the background when you are launching the game the simultaneously all these things are running in the background which is one of the main reasons some users end up in having the crashing issue unless if you are not having good configuration so just remove everything from here not everything remove the unwanted things and most annoying one for example this code which comes under the category of overlay application and we have to remove uh, in a uh, reward to a messy afterburner which comes to the category of overclocking applications remove unwanted things from here once afterwards just close this we have to go back and we just need to try launching the game next one is all about what we need to do is we need to unplug all the usb devices so we, we might be connected with a lot of things to the system for example controller joystick and many things might be connected so just remove the unwanted things so remove the unwanted things and once you remove the un not unwanted things remove everything afterwards launch the game if you still wanted to continue playing the game with the controller and the joystick just launch the game and connect it back now we have to continue playing the game and that will be working fine next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to perform a clean boot so just go over here in the search go for system configuration navigate to services go for disable old go for hide all microsoft services go for apply and go for ok now from here we just need to go for restart that is a mandatory but uh, i'm gonna skip this because we're in the middle of sharing so i'm gonna go for exit without restart so just go back and try launching the game next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to perform a clean boot so just go over here in the search go for uh, you know like i said the perform clean boot is already done that is all about we have to disable the steam overlay so just go over, over here in the game right click and we have to go to the properties now we have to turn this off once you turn this off you just need to try launch the game and see whether the issue is solved or not next one after trying with this if the issue is still there we can try you know with uh, giving the uh, commands in the launch option so just go over here in the launch option that is the first command is dx11 now try launch the game if dx11 is not working try with dx12 and try launch the game and that will be working fine as well you can try either dx11 or dx12 and try launch the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to allow the game uh, like i said we need to give the commands are given the next one is we have to run the game on dedicated graphics card so just go over here in the search we need to search for graphics settings and right now as you can see the payday 3 might be already added so uh, if the game is not added i'll be showing you how to add it so just click on the browse now from here go to this pc go to local list d go to steam library steam amps go to common now keep scrolling down and navigate to payday 3 now select this one and add it so as you can see the game is not added we are adding this for the first time just go to the option and set this to high performance go for save so this is very important that it should be running from let windows to side to high performance go for save close this and we have to go back try launching the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to increase the virtual memory for this reason we have to go over here in the search go for view advanced system setting go to the advanced go for settings once again advanced once again now from here go to the change now from here make sure this should be blank and select the local disk where the game is installed if you mark this you will not be able to select anything so uncheck this and select the local disk where the game is installed and once afterwards we can just go over here in the custom size now go to the initial size that is uh, you know we have to give the value after the calculation initial size is 1.5 times total ram and the maximum size is 3 times the total ram so just go over here we need to go over here in the calculator so we need to type the ram first so uh, the ram of my this particular system is 32 gb and i have to multiply it with 1024 so that brings you to this and multiply because 1.5 is the total ram so just copy this now we have to paste it next one is all about 32 gb multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that is 98 304 and we have to copy this and we have to go for ok afterwards try launch the game and this will be working fine as well because this did work for many users you can try this out 
next one is all about nothing but we need to update the graphics card so i'll be providing link in the description to both nvidia as well as to the amd so if you're on the nvidia just go over here at this one go to the product type product series product operating system language etc so uh, the windows 11 should be here uh, because i'm on windows 11 so, uh, select every details and go for start search now from here as you can see uh, the file that is 1.34 is the driver version and released on September 12, 2023. So just download this one, install it, restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. If you're on the AMD, just go over here in the graphics. Now from here, go over here and go for the submit. Now from here, if you're on Windows 11, download 64-bit edition. If you're on Windows 10, download 64-bit edition as well. So if you're on Windows 10. So install it, restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. If you're on the uh, Microsoft Visual C++, you can download this from the link, which will be working fine as well. So try downloading if the system is based on x64 from this. If the system is based on, uh, you know, other one, you can try downloading this as well. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is even after trying with this, you can try updating the windows. Just go over here in the search, go to settings. Now from here go to the windows update, update the windows which is very important. After updating the windows try launching the game. Even after trying with this if the issue is still there we can try uninstalling and reinstall the game. So just go over here go to the manage and install the game. For reinstalling it back you have to keep in mind only one thing. So right now the game is on D. So if I uninstall I should not be installing it back on D. I have to either look for C or E. So this particular step, uninstall and uh, reinstall, it's quite time consuming, but for me, it worked for the games like, you know, Remnant, uh, Back 4 Blood, you know, Left 4 Dead 2, etc. The last and the least one, try verify integrity of game file. So just go over here in the game, right click, we have to go to the properties, go to the install it file and just click on the verify integrity of game file, which is going to take a lot of time. So uh, because the game is around 46.05 GB, so it is going to take a little bit of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip this up. Once you reach 100%, you can try launch the game. And these are the possible workaround which can be done when you're having an issue with Payday 3. I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.